What's up, people? I'm Zog, and welcome to my world. We're here, we're doing things back on Minecraft. Modded Minecraft. FTB Infinity evolves Skyblock. Also, I broke this guy and I got back my Enderium. I think the problem is that this guy was trying to drop stuff. Uh, that was, I don't know, it, just, it wasn't working, basically. It just, no. It just didn't drop it. I think it was too close. I think that was the deal. It was going into here, but it couldn't drop it. And I think this is kind of partially in the next block. It looks like it is, because you have one block here and then this guy. So it has to drop from a higher spot, I believe. So if we have, we should actually have some of these guys back still in here, so we can break you. We don't need you at all. Come here. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Okay, that's better. That's better. That's better. Good, 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 good. Almost forgot to turn that on. Now, if we go like this, and then we place our interface right here, and then we put the pattern back in here, we should be... That was the pattern, right? <laughs> Encode a pattern. Okay, good. Because I, I actually have one of the Enderium gears. When I broke it, four of them fell on top and actually created ourselves an Enderium gear, which is really good. It's pretty cool. Um... So yeah, now what we want to do is uh, I want to test this again to see if it does actually work, how it should work in theory. Um, if we go back to Enderium, let's try to make one more of these gears. Next, four, yes, start, go. And it should be dropping them. Yes, there it is. Look, it just got stamped. It just stamped the thing. And we just got another Enderium gear. Perfect. So it just needed to be raised one. Now in the last episode... I don't know, I was really bummed out. It was a little, I don't know. It wasn't the greatest day for me. It really wasn't. Um, and, and I do apologize if the video suffered at all. I don't know. I can't really tell too much. Whoa, give me that back. Okay. No, we're good though. But today I'm feeling pretty good. Because tomorrow I have a day off. And today everything's working okay. Except OBS is still being stupid. So I'm actually using Plate Claw to record this. Um, those of you who have been around the channel for a while, you know that I kind of switched recorders screen recorders and stuff so the video quality might not be as good obs always has better video quality um it, as long as it's set up right but i cannot get it to work how it should be working so it's a little bit of a bummer hopefully hopefully nothing too serious is going on it should be it should be pretty good it should be mostly good um b basically akin to how my video my series started this series started so it should be should be fine nobody complained then so it should be good but anyway uh, now that we have this set up, what we want to do today is kind of keep going with the auto-crafting, auto-crafting things that, uh, that we usually try to do. And that, now that we have this going, if we look at the inscriber, inscriber, we want to look at this guy, we want to auto-craft this stuff. So we need the, <laughs> we need a lot of stuff actually. Um, and eventually all of this stuff is going to be rearranged, I'm pretty sure I explained this already, but... This is not how it's going to stay. Right now, it's just going to be thrown down down here so it's closer. And it can be, and it has the ability to be attached to our network. But we're going to clean it up and finalize it and make it look a lot better later. But not, not right now. Not right this moment. We're not. Uh, and we do have a whole bunch of dense cables and smart cables and stuff, which you'll see how we're going to use those later. But for now, what I want to do is see about getting some of this stuff going. Now, we need, one, we need the assembly table for the... Emerald chip, sets, emerald chip sets on their own. We need those guys. We need them to be a thing. But we also need the crushed obsidian, which is probably the next easiest thing. And we also want the intricate circuit boards as well. So I think we're going to do both of those at the same time. Can you tell I'm talking a lot faster? I, I feel like I'm talking so much faster. And I don't know why, but I, re I, I just it's just kind of weird. It's not weird. Like, I'm used to talking fast, but... I don't know. Anyway, so now that, yeah. So for this guy, this guy's gonna be a little bit more complicated because what we gotta do is actually, not only do we have to feed it with power, but we also have to feed it with water uh, in order to get these things going. Now we do have some water here. We're gonna have an infinite source probably feeding into this barrel and then from this barrel into this guy. So that way we don't have to worry about the uh, speed of fluid transfer directly from whatever, whatever. I don't know, it'll be a thing, we'll be fine. We'll make it work, but we do need to pick this guy up. Then the, we need to pick this guy up. Do we have anything in here? 51 obsidian dust. But other than that, no. So we can pick this guy up here. <laughs> this guy is painful too. You can stand on top of these blocks when it's fully formed and you will die. You will die. Completely, completely die. All right, so uh, we need a couple more interfaces for this. 
if we, whoa, hover mode, turn off hover mode. Uh, we're just going to set this, we're going to do the rock cursor first because it's easier. The rock cursor is easy. Also, we need to, we need to pull this back into the system now that I think about it. Um, we need to get a vacuum hopper or something. Hmm, how can we do this the best way? Because we need to get this guy, we need to get the, probably, do we have any vacuum hoppers or vacuum chests or, or anything? Vacuum, no, that is totally the backwards. VAC, not CAV. Vacuum, no vacuum, anything? Okay, so we need a vacuum hopper or a vacuum chest. You're not too difficult to make, actually. Do we have all, we, look at that. Bam, we have all the materials that we needed for this. So now, if we hold, if we pluck this deck guy down uh, somewhere else, let's see. See, if we put an import bus or anything on here, we won't have what we, if we go, actually, I tell you what we can do. This is light blue, right? Light blue, yes. Do we have any more light blue cable that's already crafted and already created? If not, we can make some. I know that. Light blue, no. If we type in cable, we have 35 of them, so that's good. So give me, I would tell you what, let's do this. Light blue, and we should be able to see it in here, right here. Bam, done. Bam, give me you. Eight. We're going to make 16, just in case. And then we have that guy. We also need an import bus. Do we have an import bus? I don't think we'd have an import bus. Can we make an import bu import bus really quick? We don't have the, yeah, this. Uh, go, and then bam, just like so. And then bam, and then bam, and then yes, we do. Okay, so now that we have this guy, what we can do, and this can, uh, we'll, we'll need another import bus, but uh, that's one of the problems with having this set up and taking things off of this guy, is that we can only add one item to each of these paths here. So now, if we throw the import bus, no, we want the vacuum hopper to be right here, okay? Then this guy will always suck up the uh, the engineering gear. Unless we're nearby and then we'll take it and we can just manually put it in when that happens. But shouldn't be a big deal. If we go over here, place, nope, place, just like that. And then we need to send the items in this direction, just like so. That should, I believe that will work. I think that'll work. Now, I guess we should probably test it. Okay, so if we try to get the Endurium gear, I know, I know, we're using our last four Endurium for it. We're going to need Endurium for something else, and this is going to irritate me because I'm going to have to go make some more Endurium, but we can make it work. So now that it's crafting it, we got to see. Ugh. It stamped it, and it got sucked up. Did it go back into the system? It is in here. Oh, it's not working. It's not. Okay, but that's fine. That's fine. I do have a way around that as well. I just have to get a chest. We need a chest in between them two. In between them two? Yeah, well, yeah, I guess that works. Chest. So give me one of you. Oh, I need my wrench too. Come here, Crescent Hammer. I love the Crescent Hammer. I don't know why. It seems to work the best on everything. The best on it? No. It seems to work on the most things. Can you break? Thank you. And then give me you. And then we'll put a chest down. So you'll then go into the chest. What the crap? Oh, did it work? It must have actually worked. That's weird. Huh. It must have worked already. Okay, well, we did not pick up the Enderium gear and put it into our system manually. And there's no crafting. Yeah, so it did work. It just took a while, I guess. I don't know. That's weird. But now that'll work. That'll be fine. And, uh, yeah. Uh, that, yeah, yeah. 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 It's fine. Yeah. Little shoulder shrug action. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and lay this guy down. We're gonna have to start taking cables off. One, two, three. One, two, three. And this guy's gonna have to get bigger. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now you're fully formed. Yay. All right. So then we can take our dense cable. Let's go ahead and get a dense cable. Let's put on hover mode. Let's float down. Whee. Uh, and we're going to go from you. And we're going to go down and across. Yes. Perfect. 
I wasn't sure exactly how low I had to go, but it makes sense that I would only have to go this this low. If we can go back, and then we'll have like I don't know, maybe we'll just kind of leave it here. Oh no 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 no! Give me that! Oh crap! I think I lost one. Dang it! I forgot my magnet was off. Crapo! Bummer bummer! Bummer bummer! Let's go ahead and get into this guy, like a suit, and we're gonna bring this off of here. So that way we have eight channels. We only need like the one. But we have a total of eight that we can put on this guy. Actually, I don't want you there either. We're going to put you... We're going to bring you up right here for this one. Right there. And then we'll put an interface here. And then we can put... Uh, uh, I think we can should be able to put an import bus directly from it. And it will take automatically from the, the out, output. So if we do this, then I can go down and I can break you. Did I get you back? I hope I did. All right, so we get the interface and then make another... We're going to need another sticky piston. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hover mode. Stop it. Uh, if we go here and make this like so. Yep. And we go like this and like this and like this. Uh, oh, no. What are we missing? We're missing you. Dang it. So we need a bunch of fluids actually as well. Is my magnet on? It is on. But wait, we want it off for now. Because we can go in here and do some fluids. Fluix. Uh, actually, let's just grind up another 64 batch. We don't need you either. Or you. Yeah, no, we're good with that. Okay, and then we need, um, I need to make some stuff in here as well. So I need to make some logic processors, right? That's what I need for this. I mean, we get two per batch, so two per one. Now, we're working on automating them. We're working on that. But I want to automate the creation of the inscriber. So later on, we can just craft everything that we need. And it'll all work just fine. This is the idea. So let me go ahead. I'm going to go do this stuff. Okay. Now, I have made the things. I also have the LV wire cables, wire coil thing. I made the stuff that we needed. We already had an interface and I did make... An import bus here. Now we do have one issue with this whole thing and that we need to give it some power. So now, come here you. It should have some power. And the other thing that we've done, it's now max power, but we do, we do have an issue. We have, we have a little bit of an issue because we've started the crafting recipe. I made the recipe for the crushed obsidian, but it's not working. It isn't working how it should work. It's not, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Um, and I don't know why it's not going in. Maybe because it can't be injected like that uh, through the back here. Because this is the import bus. That or it's pulling it back out right away. I don't, maybe, I don't know. But no, because then it wouldn't say stored. It wouldn't say storage. So let's try this. Let's test this theory. Because if you attach an interface onto a chest, it'll work. Just like we had up here. That works just fine. I thought this would work the same too, but maybe not. If we put this here. Yeah! Look, there it, there it goes. So that's our issue. So what we want to do, I guess we have to do a little bit of a work around here. In order to get this thing going. Transfer. Nope. Transfer. Give me a transfer note for items. Okay. We got it. Now we'll walk over here and we'll do this thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got to watch for me walking on top of that deal. And then it'll, it should be automatically put them in. Why are you not automatically injecting them? Can you not do that with this guy? This is so stupid. Does it have to be through that one slot? Maybe. All right, hold on. We're, we got to try this because I got to make sure I got to see if this works. Come here, you, you get your butt over here. And then you, you come over with me too. And we'll do this. Uh, this might not work either, actually, now that I think about it. All right, let's do this then. Let's do this. Let's just make sure. We'll grab all of you. Oh, no. Did I get any of that back? Oh, my goodness. What did we lose? Because my magnet wasn't on. Oh, man. Okay, so those went in there. I don't see anything else that went in there. We have our import bus. We don't. We, uh, we, we do actually have our cables too. We have a chest. We have the interface. So I think we got everything except the obsidian that's now being processed in there. 
how we didn't want it to be processed. Okay, so now that our magnet is on, this is a problem. I hate when that happens. I hate how it's like that. Um, uh, yes, this is the level. So what, what I want to try is to go in through these holes. Uh, what? That's wrong? So it is. Okay. Guess I have to go here then. Um, if we go in through these holes, maybe that'll work. And we'll go up one right there. We got to put that piece of wood back. Go. Boom. Okay, so. For example, if we say put the interface on here. And then we put the encoded pattern in there. Maybe that will be able to inject it in the, into the thingamajig. And then over here. Like this. Oh, we didn't need to get rid of that second one. That one can stay. And then this guy can come over here. Would you stop the hover mode stuff? This guy can come up here like this. And we'll put the import bus on you to see if that will work. And that should, hopefully, hopefully that will work. And we put this guy back here. So now if we do it, maybe it will work now. Yeah, look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're extracting. That's sort of kind of working. That seems to work. All right, so if we, now can it inject through that slot? Maybe maybe that's what the issue was. Crushed, and we go in here and say, I want 10 more. We have them. So are you working now? Why you no work, stupid thing? Do what you're supposed to do. Because you're not working. Why aren't you working? Because you're stupid. This is the answer. Um, okay, let's do this. Give me you. Let's try to put you beside it. And we'll put the interface right here with the encoded pattern. And then we'll put... Oh, man, no. That's not what I wanted. Um, hmm. Ha, ha, ha. I guess that's probably the only way we're going to be able to do it. Okay, so then I guess we'll put the chest on it, because then you'll you'll get all the, the stuff into you. Then we can get this here, but that's not going to work. That won't inject it into... Whoa! Oh, catch me. Why, did you see that? I caught myself. I caught my... I didn't fall to my death or anything. Trans... Transfer. One here. All right. And then we'll do this. Are you now going in? See, I, I am well aware that... Where'd you go? Back into the network. That's where you went. It had a place for it, for it to go. So it went back in the network. So I'm guessing we can just drop the items right on top of it. I mean, that is a thing that could happen, but does it always break down those items or is it only a chance that it will break down the items? I don't know. I do not know. We have the ability to make another open barrel thing. I'm using so many open crates. It's open crate, not open barrel, but what? Not Elven Gateway Core. Open crate. That's what I thought I typed in. I typed it in the other place, not this place. Okay, so now we have an open crate. So now, 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 if we go in here, and instead of doing this scenario, give me you, and give me you, and then give me you, and you, and you. <laughs> Hover mode. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get irritated and have to turn it off later. I know it. I just know it. Nope, don't break that one. Don't break that one. Okay, now, if we go, uh, we can put these two back, because they're irritating me. That can be pulled out of there, and we can extend this upwards a little bit more. Like this, because we need that empty space, so if we put this here, and then we put the interface right here, and then the open crate right here, and then the pattern back in, now we'll try it. It should drop it right on top, and that should, in theory, work this time. Hopefully. Although all of them would have, in theory, worked. If the mod creator was smart, they would have done it that way. I mean, dropping the items on top to make it able to do that, that's pretty cool. It is. It's a pretty cool little thing. But...
don't prevent the ability from injecting it directly into the side of it. Why? Why? Because we have to be different. That's why. People have to be different all the time. No crafting CPUs are available. Cancel you then. Cancel. Apparently you were crafting stuff. Crushed. Go. No. Uh, yes. Crushed. Crepo. You, 10, next, go. Are you going to work now? Yes. I think it's working. Um, Crapo, where's my magnet? Oh, you already got them all. Pretty sure that's the thing. Pretty sure it worked. I think it just dropped them all right away. I, th I think there was like no hesitation. No, no, n anything. It just dropped them straight away, which is really, really cool. Um, that's good. I like that. I like that. And it should also be taking them out as soon as they get in there. So now it's working. If we look in here before it's done crafting, we'll see that it's actually processing. You see it's now down to three and now it's down to two and then it'll be done one. You get the idea. So now that that is done, we can move on to this guy, which is a little bit harder of a thing, but I do need to extend this platform a little bit and set a few things up. Okay. So here we go. I uh, got a little bit more set up and stuff. Basically, what I the only thing I really set up was just the stuff you've already seen, like the infinite water source with the world interaction upgrade and the transfer node for liquids going into this guy directly, and an extra little drum, which is now completely full of water, which is amazing. Now, eventually, we're going to have a bunch of these guys like side by side. We're going to reorganize them. But like I said, all this stuff here is just temporary, just so we can start some, some kind of auto crafting for this stuff here. Now, I think what we're going to do is over on this side for now is going to be the messy stuff. And once we're ready to set some stuff up permanently, like how we want it to actually be, we'll put it on this side. Uh, when we, we actually organize it and stuff, that's what I'm thinking right this second, just for now. Um, but that could very well change. I don't really know, but at the moment we're pretty much good. We have our smart cables down here. So we can go ahead and activate hover mode, go down into the little corner hole thing. And we'll go over bloop, 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 and then one up. And then over here, like this. Now that these two are set up, actually, this guy needs to go one more higher, but that's fine. We have the import bus. It, taking it out, that should activate. Device channel, device online, check, check. The interface, just like so. Now what we need to do is set up the pattern. And the pattern is going to be, whoa, hover mode. And that's one reason I don't like the little nooks. I told you that before. Like, hover mode's on. And then you go over these guys. And then you like hover like really far. It's stupid. But anyway, so the redstone, we're looking at, we're, words, we're looking at six redstone and three gold. Actually, I need to keep these uh, minus one so you can go away. And the redstone, one, two, three, four, five. So that way we can actually make one of these things and import it into the system. The network should then import it and we should be good to go. If we go like this, it should make the thing. Oh, we don't have power. That's right. That's right. That's right. So I need another. Can I, can that reach? If I, will that reach over here? Whoa. 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 Hover mode. See, it's a pain in the butt. Okay. Uh, we might end up getting the wings uh, just because of the pain in the butt with the power and that we might be a lot slower, but we will be going for the wings at some point because we can always speed ourselves up with through other means. But uh, yeah, anyway, so. Um, uh, we need LV just like this and we need this guy and this guy just like so and then we can go over here and with this we can add these guys down here put this guy right on top go like this to that yes it connected sweet now we have power so now it's crafting it everything's going fine now granted we might uh yeah, actually, we're full on RF and everything because we're not processing any anything else with these guys. So they're not using any energy. They're just crafting what we need them to craft. And then this guy will actually go ahead and create the rest of what we need it to create. Like so, just like that, instantly imported into our system. So we can go back over to our pattern terminal thingamajig right here and go and get, I think it's called the intricate. Oh, you see it? I saw it right here. Bam. Processing recipe. Done deal. Now we have that encoded pattern. And then what we can do is stick this guy right in here. So then we have three components of our uh, machine frame resonance. So we have a couple more to get. We need the emerald chipset. 
and we need the dense refined ore plate thing. This is the other thing that we need. Uh, yeah, so, mm hmm Also, yes, there are a couple little slams in the background as a door because somebody doesn't know how to be quiet. But we're just going to keep powering through because we're on a roll. So, yeah. Ah, well, we were on a roll. I think the roll's over now. But anyway, so, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much good. We got to keep working on this, though. Let's see. Uh, we need the emerald chips. Out. I think uh, this guy requires a lot because we need to make the steel. Well, okay. We need the sag mill to turn coal into coal dust. We need an, an, the induction smelter to turn it into steel. We need the, the machine former to turn it into plates. And then we need the compressor to turn it into the dents. So we need like four machines going on in order to get this guy going and we need to actually have the right wrench because you know ic2 is just stupid and they don't let you pick up machines with anything but their wrench because they're dumb i think that i'm not 100 percent on that actually but i do know that this wrench is the safest bet i don't want to take any chances and mess up a machine or anything that would be really 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 bad sometimes they mess up anyway which is even dumber if that happens i am going to cheat in a new machine because machines should never break, especially if you're using the wrench they want you to use. So if they do break, I'm getting them back. But anyway, so you just turn. You don't even do what you were supposed to do. Okay, so pick you up. Yeah, see? Just like that. I used the wrench. Why? Why? Why would you break? How does that make any sense? That is so stupid. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and grab that machine. We also need this guy and we need this guy. Just give me all of the things. Uh, I mean, breaking a machine with a pickaxe, okay. If you had to use a wrench, that would be fine. Uh, but don't make it break into a lesser material. That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Make it take, I don't know, twice as long as obsidian to break. That would make more sense to me. Uh, maybe that was a pickaxe or something. Maybe it should destroy it, but it's Minecraft. Come on now. Just make it take longer so people know to use the wrench because it's instant or something. Don't break the machine down to a lesser component, especially in a mod pack that is so ridiculously difficult to get everything. Ah, it frustrates me to no end. To no end! You have no idea! Anyway, so, yeah, let me get this stuff set up a little bit, and I'll see you back in a second. Okay, so now that we have these machines over here and hooked up... What we got to do is make a few different recipes. Now, we have, we have a couple options for this. We could say that one regular piece of coal and one uh, piece of iron equals, or, or you say nine of each equals a plate and then have these guys automatically inject into the sag mill and then this guy and then have it automatically move over here to turn into steel and kind of go down the line all by itself. Or we could have e you know one pattern for each. Uh, for example, we could go in here and be, this is the way I want to do it in case you haven't noticed. Basically, we have coal. So one, we're going to say one coal equals one pulverized coal. That's recipe number one. We're going to have iron. We're going to have one iron and one piece of pulverized coal. So we need to do coal like so is going to equal a piece of steel, which we don't currently have. Actually, no, 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 no. Ooh, do the recipe right. Two. It's actually two of them. And this is going to equal one piece of regular steel, which I have to go craft. I have to go do that right now. Oh, wait, no, no, refined iron. Perfect. That's exactly what we get out of it. That's 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 what we wanted. I'm so glad about that, actually. Uh, so then we make that pattern. And then we can make uh, one of these makes a steel plate. I don't remember exactly what we get out of this. Let me have one of these guys to compress it. Because I'm not sure if we get steel or a, a refined iron plate. I'm not 100%. We do need to power these guys, though. This is one of the problems. You are the actual iron. I can't shift. I can't put you. Oh, that's because you need to be a rolling and put you in there. Then I need to power these guys. Okay, so now I need a couple more LVs, which we may not have enough power. Like I said, this is just temporary stuff. I just wanted to have some power so that we can actually get everything we want. We already have two, so we need four total, and we're going to have... A couple more here just to make sure we have enough. Uh, yeah, it should be four that we actually need. So if we go like this, 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 and this. And then you can connect to you to get you some power. 
U to U to give this guy some power. U to U to get this guy some power. There it goes. Bam. And then U to U to get this guy power. Uh, there it goes. Boom. And now it's making this thing. So we should be able to get this plate thing. Refined iron plate. Okay, good. And then we need to have nine of these guys. So, in other words, what we can do, bam, just like that. Stick that in there. We need a bunch more interfaces, though, as well. How many more interfaces do we have? We only have two more interfaces. How do we make these? Can we make these? I'm missing one of those, but luckily for me, I did make... Oh, that's wrong. Hold on. Let's go over here. <laughs> I did make a couple extra uh, logic processors when I made them before. Let's get two of those and see what we need. I know we need at least two of them. So we're good there. Yeah, okay, code. Perfect. So now that we have four of these guys, we can actually go ahead. First, what we're going to do is break the bottom because we don't need this anymore. Okay, hold on one second. Well, that was all of a sudden. And I did a little bit more. The reason for that is because I came right back after the train passed by, which some of you know that is a thing in my current environment, which is a pain in the butt. Super pain in the butt. So I started finishing recording and, you know, doing my thing. And then a second train. Back to friggin' back. Two of them. Back to friggin' back. So I had to do it again. I just got rid of the 18 second clip that was just uh, done. But anyway, so all I really did is place down four of these interfaces. Put the uh, pulverized coal right here. Put the steel or refined iron right there. And put the plate here. Now what we can actually do is go back... If we take a look in here, we should be able to craft the refined iron. We can go in here. We need eight more of these plates, right? Oh, you're supposed to be crafted. Oh, we haven't hooked them up yet. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Okay, so if we go back under here. Hover mode activate. Okay, so we go over here. Yep, there they are. Uh, just like so. We can go over here. How many channels are we using on this anyway? We have currently four out of 32. So these four... I tell you what we're gonna do. No and no. My magnet is active, thank goodness. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and drag our dense cable down some more, like so. And then what we can do is go ahead and take off of it, and that way we get another a, a new set of channels, which we're going to need for this because not only do we need the interfaces on the back of this, but we also need the. Uh, the import buses on the other side of them so that way we have all of them connected and all that good stuff. But now that should update. There it goes. Bam. Four channels. Totally good. We're done. So now they're connected. So we should be able to go back over here and actually request a whole bunch of these steel plates or their fine iron plates. Uh, if we go to plate, we should have these guys right here. Bam. Let's go ahead and make, we need, what is it? Eight more, right? Eight. And you'll see that it says iron. Available this, we have to craft four. Available eight, we already have all of that we need. And then to craft eight. So if we go to start, this guy should be putting all of them into the, the appropriate, whoa, areas. And this guy, yes it is. Look, there's four. We already had those guys. Apparently at induction smelted them really quick. Went ahead, grabbed them up. So now these guys are going to be processed. Uh, there's only four of them though. Didn't we need more than that? I needed, I requested eight of them. Why did we only get that many of them? Hmm, let's see the crafting stuff. What's happening with the whole crafting thing? The crafting queue. You're crafting four, scheduled four more. Oh, you know what? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I know what this is. I think I know what it is because it can't currently do this because the bat. this one needs to be... There it goes. Boom! Just like so. And now it's crafting them. And as they come in, they should be sent back out into here to be rolled. But it might be waiting for all of them. I'm not entirely sure. Oh! Oh, right. And then I <laughs> now I have to be able to get them out. Uh, so I tell you what I'm going to do momentarily. We're going to go ahead and take these guys out. And we're just going to drop them back in our system. Basically, what was happening is that it couldn't extract them automatically because we haven't hooked up any import buses yet. Uh, we need to get the import buses, but you see, as soon as I drop them into my network, they are sent over to here, so we get the rest of our iron, refined iron plates. So, you get the idea. Now that we have all of that, the only recipe we still need to make is to tell it that nine, uh, nine refined iron plates equals one dense refined iron plate. Put that into the last interface and then hook all of them up with import buses, 
And if possible, set, like for this guy, we need to set the down for uh, the export. So it exports everything here uh, downward into that import bus so everything goes back into our network. And after we do all of that, everything should be good to go. We shouldn't have any problems uh, in the future, we should be able to get the dents refined on our plates just by requesting them from our system, which is really cool. I'm gonna end up doing that off camera, more than likely. Hopefully I remember to do that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, But this episode's already long enough, so if you did like the episode, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos sent directly to you, then don't forget to subscribe, comment, favorite, share, feel like you want to. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace out, peeps!